I think the first thing you can see, um, it's got uh, amazing amounts of character. Um, the new Adam is very modern, has a very bold appearance, it's got lots of muscles everywhere and it's actually quite a masculine looking car. Um, at the same time, it's got a very sporty feel about it with its great proportions, it's a very short vehicle length, but it's very, very wide um, and it helps to really sit the car planted on the ground. Um, but it, it, although it's sporty, it's also quite friendly and I think that's sort of like one of the special things about it. It's modern, it's friendly and sporty and this is really something very special. At the front, um, again you can see very strong graphic, a single trapezoidal grille with a chrome wing settled nicely in there. It brings the graphics down of the car. Um, at the same time with these nicely shaped headlamps with the wing graphic, uh, very typical for Vauxhall Opel, uh, the wing graphic DRL. Um, but at the same time, quite cute and friendly appearance. So again, just as I mentioned before, this sporty, but at the same time friendly appearance um, really is a, is a key element in, in the whole design of, of the new Adam. So one of, the, one of the other things that you can really see, which is um, you know, very typical for, for, for Vauxhall art, in our, in our form philosophy, sculpture, artistry meets technical precision. Um, the blade in the bottom of the door, um, very nice sculptured element, and it's really important that this points up to the bottom of the A pillar here that helps to pull the whole upper together with the lower, even though the upper itself is floating away. You can see then on the, on the front door here how the shock wave cuts across again, a very nice sporty DNA design element that we started on the GTC. So again, this combination of soft sculptural forms with a few um, sporty design elements really give this car a lot of character. One of the great things um, of the rear is also the tail lamp. So here you can see it with a full LED wing signature. Um, very small, very tight, looks very sporty, it gives a very dynamic shape. The Adam itself has a lot of visual width while at the same still having a very short rear overhang. And the whole emphasis of the car is is pushing forward, which gives us a great feeling, almost like a, a cat just about to spring forward, which I think is a great analogy for, for the character and feeling of, of, of the Adam. So, um, part of the whole personalization story is, is the, 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 the levels, the levels of um, personalization that we can achieve. We start off with the basic fact that you can order a two-tone roof, which I think is a really great uh, idea. Um, it is really the iconic part of Adam that enables us to create a car that is visible for 500 meters or more. Particularly we achieve this two-tone look by separating it, the roof from the A-pillar and from the C-pillar. So uh, this floating roof underscored here by the chrome decal, uh, the chrome decor, um, really helps us to create a design proposal which is not only iconic as full body colour but also obviously as two-tone. Now the second level of um, personalisation is the application of foils and you can see here this one design is called Fly, it's effectively a pattern that we applied to the B-pillar, to the outside mirror cap, to the inside mirror and also on the interior the floor mats and the main decor panel and the instrument panel. So, you know, um, elements, a new element that you can apply on top of your choice that you've already made. Now, um, going beyond that, we have a massive choice of wheels to choose from. Um, this particular car shows a, a chic wheel or a, um, a glam wheel designed as pods of, of form. And these are diamond cut technology, but with a specific color a copper type cover which goes beautifully with a combination of, of grey for the body. So um, we work very closely with suppliers at a very early stage in the development to make sure that every wheel we design uh, is, is, let's say, it will facilitate a particular finish. And whether that's a high gloss black wheel with a red ring like you can see here on the, the Peter Blake version uh, or a 18 inch wheel where we have specific colors for the plastic clips on the spokes, we really have created um, a, a wheel program that really supports the personalization and, and, and customization of, of Adam. So we've got lots of building blocks in place to, to really create a car where you yourself can build your own Adam.
So you'll see as you get in, it's a very modular design so that we can put in different color decors, different, different inserts, um, and that's what makes it very um, individual. And so what you have here, just starting with the instrument panel, we have a big decor that goes across the instrument panel, and we also have one on the door, and then also in the center console. And we have 12 painted decors that go with each of the 12 exterior colors. And we have six what we call foil decors. That's what this one has. It's in a foil, what you're able to do is add in a dimension of um, three-dimensionality almost. It looks like it has some dimension to it, some depth, and then some pattern. Let's say you put together and you configure your car. If you're tired of your decors after a while, you can go to the dealer and have them switched out so they're replaceable. So the dealer can do that for you. Because this is a very small, tight car on the outside, we wanted to make it feel as big as possible on the inside. Because you don't want to feel small and crammed in your car. You want to feel comfortable, you want to feel open. And so the whole design is, is a, has a horizontal emphasis, really stretches across the whole IP. Um, even the, the, the air outlets for the air conditioning go out into the doors to really try to get as much width as possible. So it feels as, as big as it, as it possibly can on the inside. Another um, point to make it feel big is it's this two-tone combination. So what we're able to do is this lighter lower combination. We can pull, it, it pulls into the doors. Again, you're emphasizing the width of the car on the inside. So architecturally, there were some intentions to make it look wide. So you've got this contrast of sculptural artistry with a lot of emotion in the design, a lot of sculpture, and then the German precision comes into the components and into the instrument part. We have two backlit decors. So at, at night, you get this kind of a nice glow behind the pattern. It's really interesting. That's an industry first. Another industry first is our, we have printed headliners. We have three headliner themes. One is a leaf theme, so it looks like fallen leaves on top of the car. One is a checkerboard, checker flag theme for the slam. And um, the other one is a, is a sky with clouds theme. So you feel like you're out in the open air even on a rainy day. So it's, that's an industry first as well. The other, there's other, there's so many levels of customization on this vehicle. It just goes on and on. Um, besides the decors, we also have, you know, seats. We have many seats with different combinations of, of um, leathers and vinyls and cloths with some of the things that you'd see in more premium cars with real stitching, real stitch accents, color contrast stitching. We also have on the steering wheel, you can get these colored options where you see here that's the white, but you can get red, you can get yellow, there's different combinations of colors you can get on the shifter knob and also on the park brake. So that's another level of customization as, as well. Over 30,000 combinations that you can get on this thing. So the beauty of that is people can truly make their own. They can, they can choose a blue exterior and a red interior, whatever they want. It's the, they can make it truly their own. And that's what's, you know, I think that's what people are looking for. Um, there's, a, there's a set of customers that really want to have a personal statement about themselves, and they can do it through this vehicle. It's really exciting. It's, uh, it's amazing that we started with lots of ideas, lots of um, um, ideas how to really do three personalities, jam, glam, slam, and make them look as different as possible to so really funky and really elegant and also very, very racing, inspired, sporty. And that we also followed this through all the way to the end. So in the end, I wouldn't say there is something that we dropped. We really made it all happen. Once we really had this um, whole personality theme set up, um, lots of ideas came into the project. So if you, the stickers we have now, there are three packs which will have the start of production. And again, one jam, one funky, some um, paint drops, the roof is leaking paint. 
stand for glam, very elegant leaves that are falling off the car, autumn feeling, and then for slam, very sporty stripes. But of course, there are lots of ideas, so a, a lot of possibilities for lifestyle, and this is where we will be adding on and will we uh, have additional uh, possibilities for creativity and even more individuality there. Um, some of the names are, are so amazing there. I mean, I don't even remember all of them at the moment. Um, but, you know, we did some brainstorming sessions and we started off with one color name and we called it, just as a, a little bit of an insight of jokes, we called it James Brown. And people thought that was just so funny to have that color name. But of course, James Brown was protected. So we just started thinking names inspired by movies, music, that um, are a little bit of a thumb or a twist on these um, names. So you have now I'll be black for the roof color. We have men in brown. We have purple fiction. And uh, my pa uh, personal favorite is, of course, a Buzz Light Green. And I think this also shows that it's all about, you know, um, the freedom of, of um, expressing yourself and really that Adam is, um, is not taking himself too serious. It really is a, a car for everybody. On the uh, materials, that's something that we really, um, we felt it's a small car. We're not downgrading, we're down, it's just a size down. So people are in this segment or people who we want to approach with this car, they want to have a, a, a premium feeling. They want to have all the comfort you would have in a big car, but in an urban environment, so in a smaller car. And because of that, we have a, a soft IT, uh, IP touch. Um, we have a lot of real chrome accents in the interior. On the exterior, we have the, the calligraphy stroke on the um, DLO in real extruded aluminium. We have um, nice leather wrapped steering wheels, you, as you can see them here. Um, so really, all the materials that you would hope to get in a bigger car, in a small car. And again, here we also have options that are not color and trim related, but really add on to this, like Park Assist, the um, IntelliLink, the um, um, system there, you can just connect your iPhone. So definitely um, big car, small package, exactly as. Yes.